So a trimetric monitor is a pretty common um, item in, in a solar system. Uh, this particular one is made by Bogart Engineering. It's the TM2025-RV. Um, Outback also makes, uh, I think, uh, something like a trimetric monitor. Uh, I think it works with the mate. I'm not exactly sure, but um, it's a really common thing. So basically, this thing works by tapping into its uh, it's connected to the, the negative shunt in the load center and, um, and also to the po battery positive. And by being connected that way, it's able to um, monitor voltage and amps of, of the system. And uh, so basically what, this, what we're looking at right here is a percent full number. So right now I'm at 74%. Um, the reason I'm that low is because we just had like three straight days of rain. Um, and uh, normally I'm definitely up close to 100. I definitely get up to 100 every single day um, when the sun's out. So the percent full is, is a really nice feature. It allows um, you to just take a quick glance at your trimetric and know exactly where your batteries are at. Um, um, because you don't really want to go below 70% on a regular basis. Um, and, uh, you know, if you get down to like 50 or 60, you definitely want to stop using electricity to spare your batteries um, or get a generator to charge them. So it's crucial to know where your batteries are at. Um, the other things that it has here, it shows you volts of the system. Um, currently I'm charging, I'm at 26.7. And then it also shows you uh, what I have as a, uh, I have it set to watts. It can also show you amps. <clears throat> this number actually one with a blinking dot O2 means um, 1.02 or 01 kilowatt kilowatts coming in through the array. So what that number actually is is the amount of electricity being generated by the solar panels minus the amount of electricity being used in the house. Um, so at night when there isn't any electric, sorry, when there isn't any power being coming in through the solar panels, um, this number will be negative and it will show you exactly how many watts or amps if you have it set that way that you're using in your house at that moment during the day it's it's the difference between how much you're generating and how much you're using so right now um, I'm, I, I'm generating a kilowatt um, instantaneous uh, I added since my last video since sizing a solar system video I added two more uh, 225 watt solar panels got a great deal on them and it never hurts to have more. Your system charges up faster, and that's always a good thing. I don't have to really think about electricity ever now, um, now that I have six instead of four. Okay, so you can see here it just dropped under 1,000 watts, so now you can see it's at 955 watts. Um, so what I really want to talk about here is the, uh, is the percent full. Now, this, uh, this is kind of uh, a representation of amp hours from full. So the way this thing works is, the way it determines 100% um, battery charge, a full battery charge, is based on parameters that you set. So um, there's a charged voltage set point and a charged amperage set point. And those numbers uh, in the manual here tells you how to derive those. It's based on uh, it's based on the specs of that come from your battery manufacturer. And I'll tell you what mine are. I have them written down here somewhere. My, uh, my charged voltage set point is 28.8 and my charged uh, amp set point is 14.8. So basically what happens here is once the batteries are get to a, uh, a float state, the amperage drops significantly. So during the day when um, I'm charging at, you know, now that I have six panels, between 900 and 1.2 kilo, 900 watts and 1200 watts, um, my voltage might be anywhere between like 30 and 50 volts and my amps might be anywhere between 20 and 30 volts, somewhere in that ballpark um, to make up that, you know, about a thousand watts. Um, but once I, once the batteries get up to close to that, right up to that 28.8 voltage set point, my system, my charge controller is configured in such a way based also based on the battery manufacturer specs to 
drop the charge down to a float and then later on to an absorb charge. And what that does is the voltage stays around the same, but the amps drop significantly and the amount of power, the amount of watts being sent into the batteries drops significantly. It's uh, basically what happens, that charge, it's more of a trickle charge at that point. So um, once that happens, once my charge controller starts sending in less amps, that's when the trimetric monitor knows that the batteries are fully charged. So basic, I, I'm not getting into too much technical detail. Please don't hate on me for not explaining certain things, but that's a general idea. And um, um, so that's when the trimetric says, oh, okay, the batteries are fully charged. And at that point, it also knows that I've configured in here that I have I think in my last video I said I had 700 amp hours. It turns out I actually have 740. I think they're 360, yeah, my batteries are 360 amp hours each, not 350 like I said in the last video. Um, so then it knows that I have a full 740 amp hours to use at 24 volts. So at that point, this number right here is just a representation of amp hours from full, how many amp hours I've used from 740. So the way, the way it figures out how many amp hours I've used is based on voltage and amps um, and watts. So basically, let me think of a simple example here. If I was using 24 watts for one hour, that would be one amp hour. And the reason is, is because, well, around 24 watts, my son, sorry, uh, it might be 25 watts. The reason is, is because um, my system is running anywhere but around 25 to 26 volts. And if I use one amp at 25 or 26 volts for one hour, that's one amp hour. And if you multiply uh, the amps times the volts there, you have 25 or 26 watts. So if I use 25 or 26 watts for one hour, that's one amp hour. Um, this thing can read how much I'm using, how many watts and amps I'm using. So doing the math, it can figure out how many amp hours I've used since it reached that charge status, since it reached those set points. So, um, so basically here, we got 75%. Now if I hold down the select button for three seconds, it's gonna show me amp hours from full, 185. So it's, it's telling me right now, I've used 185 amp hours since this thing reached a fully charged state um, based on my set parameters. So if we do the math, we take, I'm just gonna do this with uh, 185 and I'm gonna divide that by um, 740, which is the total number of amp hours. I get 0.25, that's how many that 185 amp hours equates to 25% of my total amp hours that I have in my battery bank. And that is why it is showing me 75%. Um, so, you know, that is something that uh, I felt was really important to get out there because, um, you know, percent full, I think for most people is like this nebulous thing that they don't really understand. Like, how is it? determining. How, how, how does it read the batteries? Is it just some magic going on reading the batteries and being able to tell me how, how much percent full they are? No, that's how it does it. It's, um, it's a logical um, thing and, uh, and uh, I feel a lot better knowing how it's done.